What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Now I'm sure you guys clicked on the link, you saw the title of this video, and you're wondering, Eric, lift? What? And yes, I'm actually gonna take you guys through one of my workout sessions that I actually have solely with weights, no cycling, nothing. That's what the point of this video is. But the real reason why I made this video, guys, to be completely honest, is because I picked up something new today. Today, everybody, I decided to upgrade my Canon G7X and move on to something bigger. And to be quite honest, a little bit better. The Sony A6300. Now this is something that I've had my eyes on for quite some time and I'm stoked for it. And I got to use it for the first time today because I purchased it today. So, so I wanted to take... Are you fucking kidding me, dude? And that's exactly why I needed to upgrade my camera. <laughs> Anyways, guys. So that's the main reason why I brought this with me today and making this video right now is because I wanted to uh, shoot with this and actually see how it held up in the gym. And I, honestly, guys, I have no idea how to use this yet. This is like three hours old, in my opinion. So uh, regardless, I'm gonna show you guys how today went and show you the awesome PRs I had. So, let's get to the video, guys. Boom, all right, guys, so you are watching a workout from today. This is a full body session. This is what I do in the gym. Now, a lot of you have been asking me what I do for weight training. Granted, I am a cyclist and everything, so I figured I would show you guys a full workout for me. Uh, starting off with uh, sumo pulls right here, and I've been switching off between conventional pulling and sumo pulling, and lately I've actually been favoring conventional. Uh, but this is something I wanted to do for today just because I was feeling extra in the mood, I guess you could say, for deadlifts, and I can pull more weight without a doubt sumo, and I prefer sumo. Just, I mean, with my, uh, my limb length and everything, it just works well for me. And I feel like my upper back rounds way more when I'm doing conventional pulling, but uh, so yeah, worked up to 225 for five here, 275 for five afterwards, and I have the same uh, warm-up sets pretty much for every single deadlift session. Uh, 135, 185, 225, 275, they pretty much all feel the same. So that's pretty much where I keep it. And uh, it was extra busy in the gym today too, which is kind of distracting for me, but uh, rocking that new lift fit gear though. Stuff is awesome, on point. Uh, anyways, so sumo pulls right here, 315 for a triple, and then I uh, actually threw in Instead of going up to 365, which would be a PR for me, uh, most weight I've done recently was like 345 for, I think I got like a single or a double out of it. So I wanted to go for 365 today, but instead of going right into uh, the 365 pool, I actually did it 335 for a single, which went up really, really well. And then uh, I wanted to load up 365 in the bar right there and go for it. So I was absolutely stoked to be able to hit that lift. 365 for a single, I'm working my way back up to my old strength again, so 365. Uh, obviously I had some hitching at the very top of the lift there, but it wasn't really something I was worrying too heavily about. Uh, moving on to bench right now, you guys know this is my biggest weakness. I mean, I'm really, I'm, I'm stoked about my overhead press right now, but my bench is something that I've been really trying to get better at and improve on, and uh, I. I don't know why my camera decided to unfocus here, but there was a gentleman that was walking back and forth between uh, my camera and another bench. It was kind of just distracting me. So I got to 160 for, uh, I want to say five, but then again, you know, it's, it's hard because you touch the bar and I don't consider it a PR if they touch the bar. But uh, I mean, right now I'm just looking solely at my bar speed for my bench and my bar speed feels amazing when I'm, I'm looking at old clips and uh, just trying to keep my uh, my back arched and my elbows from flaring. Granted, they are flaring there, but right now, form is gonna be perfect and uh, that's the, the biggest thing, but I did manage to get the weight up way faster than last time and so I got two more reps than I did last time, I believe, so it's a PR in my book. Uh, just doing some accessory work here I always like to throw in an additional um, pressing movement with uh, with any of my, my bench workouts or anything like that. So uh, I usually like to do barbell incline or dumbbell incline in this case. And in my opinion, dumbbells will always triumph 
barbell um, pressing work just because you do get such a better range of motion and it just it hits my chest way better so I that's the way I like to do it so and then you know of course when you go heavy with the barbell you got to worry about a spotter and everything so um, but yeah overall it was pretty solid and then I'm, I want to do more dips I feel like dips are uh, something I've just strayed away from just because I suck at them so I want to get back to doing those again and uh, you know eventually throw on a plate and then speaking of plates these aren't technically glute ham raises. I don't have a glute ham raise machine at my gym, but uh, I usually like to, if I could do these with barbells, shout out to Pete Rubish, one of my biggest inspirations. Uh, that's one way, this is one way of improving your deadlift like crazy. So I want to be able to do that again and finish off with some flies and that was pretty much it. Thanks again guys for watching the workout and watching the video. See you guys next time. All right, everybody, so thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch the video, I really appreciate it. Now, I did film as much as I could, but there were just a few sets that I didn't film. You guys don't wanna see every set of dips, every single set of bench press flies, everything like that, but that's, for the most part, what I chose to do today. Now, I think that uh, routines are awesome, structure is great, uh, but this is just something that I've really started doing within the past few months and I've seen the best results from it. And that's really what matters for me right now is continuously, progressively overloading every single week, adding weight to the bar and feeling better. So that's why I do this. I don't plan on competing anytime soon in powerlifting or in cycling, so this is something that I'm just gonna have fun with and see where it takes me. I'm also having a lot of fun with this camera as well. I'm going to do a full review on this probably within the next few weeks. But until then, I'm going to actually have to learn how to use this damn thing. Again, everybody, thank you so much for clicking on the video. If you haven't already, feel free to follow me on my social media. Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. You know the drill. Thanks again for watching the video, guys. And Damn, I didn't ride my bike today. I guess I need to go ride a bike. What does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! What 9,000? Uh